YouTube, it's your boy Chris Javier, and welcome back to the Javier Lifestyle. So, I know it's been a minute, I haven't recorded a video in about two weeks, and haven't posted a video in about 10 days, but I have reasons for that, and I will explain that in this video. It looks like you lost another one. So the reasons why I haven't been posting on YouTube the last week and I've recorded a video in about two weeks is because for one, I'm in school. I'm a college student. I go to Ashford University online. I have six more classes before I graduate. So I'm very excited for that. I can't wait till February 1st, 2021 hits. I'm so geeked to finally graduate. I am not a big school guy to be honest with you but i want to get my bachelor's degree to better myself in the future right uh, hopefully get more opportunities in the workforce and two i also work right so speaking of workforce i work at t-mobile right now that's my day job you know and it's been a little bit you know it's been picking up a little bit so between that and school it was hard for me to balance out everything especially because i was just so focused on my youtube content so I needed to take a little step back and, you know, pretty much have the mindset of, you know what, let's not procrastinate. I was slacking in school, but good thing I passed my last class with a B plus. Um, so now I'm, I'm in this class, a new class, and it's a little bit easier. So I'm gonna get back on the board of posting at least every four or five days on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't like setting a, a, a schedule on my YouTube channel, so that's why I'm not saying any specific days, but I will be posting at least one video a week. So like the last video I had, it was 10 days ago, was with my boy Julian, Doughboy, chatting with uh, the Shenanigans, which is his clothing brand. And then uh, we also tried candy uh, from my other boy and his girl that made a candy brand called Sugar Rush. So if you guys haven't checked that out, please do that. All right. And then third reason is because I'm going through a living situation right now where I was contemplating on what I was going to do. I had three options, really, really. Well, I guess you could say four. One was to stay where I lived, but that was kind of hard because one of my, I have three roommates and myself, so it was four of us right now until August 1st which I'll go in detail um, and what's gonna happen August 1st. So pretty much one of my roommates found a place in Wicker Park. We live in Logan Square right now in a nice uh, duplex in Logan Square. And uh, I love that place. I've been there for almost three years now, but fortunately that's gonna come to an end on August 1st. Uh, here's why one of my roommates, he found a spot in Wicker Park and then my other two roommates, there, one of them was unsure of, you know, if he wanted to resign and then me, uh, I just, I want to move to Arizona, right? So that won't happen. And that was one of the other options was, should I move to Arizona now? Fortunately, what's going on right now, it's not the best idea. <laughs> so I decided to lay off on that and maybe do it next year. So I'm going to move to Arizona next year. So that was another option. Um, so I decided not to stay at my current place, even though I love that place. I, I live in the middle of like the city and I'm a Chicago head. I'm, I'm born and raised out here. You know, even though I, I stayed in Blue Island where I'm currently at, this is my mom's house. This is actually the room I want to be staying at where I decided to stay was to go back to my mom's house because one, the place I be stayed at is going to be more expensive for myself. So. I just want to think economically, especially if I want to move to Arizona, I want to save as much money as I can. Two, I did not want to move to Arizona right now, like I said earlier. And three, I did not want to move to Jefferson Park, which was another option one of my boys offered uh, for me to stay at his basement. Uh, we'll pay rent, of course. It was a lot cheaper than what I'm paying right now, too. And new cities was included. But I just, I didn't want to stay at Jefferson Park. So I decided to come back here to my mom's house, which I'll also make a video of why I moved to my mom's house. Well, 
one, like I said, it's economically friendly, I guess you could say, right? So I'm gonna be saving money here. Um, but there's more to it. And I will go right. into that topic when I make that video. But so this is pretty much the room. I'm gonna be making my content mostly. I don't know if this is gonna be the same setup, but this is the room. Um, so I'm excited about that, to be honest with you. I just gotta find a store now. So I, I work at the Chamber location. I would be, have to find something closer to Blue Island. So that's where my mom lives. And I was like, you know what? Hopefully my manager will work with me, which he's he's been pretty good with that. Uh, so, I'm, you know, really, it stressed me out. I even had like a pimple right here. Good thing it went away because I usually don't break out in pimples or hives or anything like that. So it was just, you know, I was a little stressed about that. And that, that kind of like, stunted my growth or not my growth but me making videos on my youtube channel for like i said i'm not i wasn't gone for a mom for two months but i was gone for two weeks and that's not normal for me right if, if you guys are a subscriber already you know i post a video about every three to four uh days so it was different right <laughs> to not see me on youtube and see other people make content and i was like man i need to get back on this grind i miss youtube i miss y'all you know and then when I did actually was going to, I was going to uh, make a video well I was actually gonna make a collab video we we're going to talk about pretty much comparing two or three shoe cleaners and unfortunately because you know circumstances that didn't fall through which I understand you know um, everybody's busy in their own lives like I said I was busy I'm sure the other person was busy as well I'm not gonna say any names but he's a really good uh, youtuber he always has 6,000 subs but I'm just gonna hit it at that, you know. But uh, other than that, man, I, I'm just glad to be back. You know, I'll definitely try my best to not take a week off or, you know, a week and a half off because it's been 10 days. So, you know, I know that's unacceptable. I know I need to keep bringing content, but I was still active on my social media. So if you guys don't have me on Instagram, you can follow me at the Javier Lifestyle. Uh, that's the underscore Javier underscore lifestyle by the way I'll, I'll also put the link to uh the page on my description and so you can follow it right so yeah guys i've been on instagram snapchat on facebook as well uh, just like you know kind of promoting my channel and um you know i'm all about supporting other youtubers as well which i want to make a video on that because i've seen so many small youtuber support videos and I, I support that movement to be honest with you you know um, I support fellow youtubers especially people that are starting just like me right so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video it was just a little input of why I've been you know haven't been around <laughs> for about a week and a half but trust me I got a lot more videos in the works I got more collabs in the works and by the way shout out to the guy right here I made my shirt um i appreciate it man he made a shirt for me and one of my lucky subscribers that won my 100 sub giveaway contest guys i also have another collabo with one of my boys that is a designer um he owns his own clothing brand called 47 tribe shout out to joey b um he's gonna be making a shirt and i once i get to 350 subs i will be giving you a little taste all right so guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and give me a thumbs up <laughs> anyways guys it's been one peace and i discovered yeah that black and white is all y'all see and i need color